さあでは皆様お待たせいたしました次のチームご紹介いたしますお迎えしておりますのはナイストリッツパナソニックの皆さんですどうぞよろしくお願いいたしますでは最初にですね、えー、チーム紹介をエルファフィーさんからお願いしたいと思います Well,、uh, welcome everyone. Thank you for coming today. Welcome to the audience and welcome to the people joining live. So,、um, I am representing Team Nice Leeds Panasonic, and we are a team composed of、uh, three organizations the Nara Institute of Science and Technology, l i t s u m e k a n University, and Panasonic Corporation. So, we join all together to participate in this competition, the Future Convenience Store Challenge. Now, the team is very diverse.、Uh, we have, of course, these three organizations. But we have people ranging from、uh, assistant professor to、uh, researcher to student working all together. And also diverse in the fact that、uh, we have people coming from different countries. We are Japanese teams, but we have people coming from all over、uh, the place.、Uh, also, actually, we have quite an history of achievement in competition. Everything started two years ago when we participated in the Airbus s h o p f e r Challenge, where we took the first place. And at that time, it was only team NICE. And after that, Panasonic joined us and we participated in the Amazon Robotics Challenge all together. And we got the final, finalist prize at that time. And now, this is our third competition together. We are、uh, participating again together、uh, in a very, very challenging competition. So I'm just starting our count countdown.、Uh, this is a video of all the team members. So you can see the face of everyone and also. Uh, you will be able to see our test environment, very, very early results、uh, in our laboratory. And this project has been ongoing for、uh, six months, no, more than six months. So you can see simulation,、uh, imitation learning,、uh, simulation testing again.、Uh, well, all of these all together、uh, to be ready for today, this next 20 minutes. So, as you can see,、uh, that was quite,、uh, quite a long way, and hopefully, we'll be able to、uh, deliver a great show、uh, today. Well, thank you very much. And now we will move on to the task. So, I will quickly switch my slides. No? So, the task has officially started.、Uh, we have、uh, 20 minutes from now on to show you what could be the future of、uh, customer interaction, right? So,、uh, right now, right now, my team members are setting up the place. So, we have、uh, a few minutes、uh, to set up the place and change something, the thing we want to change. Uh, because actually, this environment is very, very challenging. So, I would like first to tell you an important thing and to play fair with everyone, with all the other team. First, we are going to bypass our speech recognition system, and someone will directly input text common, the customer, um, uh, iter um, what is the customer saying, because this environment is too noisy. Uh, next, we are going to tether the robot with a cable. And the reason is that we would like to show you what's happening inside the robot so you can understand what's happening, what's happening in real time. Also, we are adding, you can see, some small walls all around because this area is very, very open and the walls are transparent. So we are helping the robot to localize itself in real time by adding these small wall walls, something we can expect in a real、uh, convenience store. And finally, in this demonstration, we are going to use、uh, the logo of 7 Eleven and the uniform of 7 Eleven to distinguish who is staff and who is,、uh, who is a customer during the demonstration. But please note that we are not officially affiliated with them. So, as my、uh, team members are, are setting, setting up the place, we have to wait a few minutes. We are one of the few teams that is actually using the network、uh, that is provided by、uh, the venue on the stage. So we are、uh, using the network provided and also the Wi Fi. So this is why we、uh, need to set up 
some uh, details about IP, uh, for instance. So you will see on that screen, as I said before, the internal uh, behavior of the robot. And on that one, after you will see some a new mixed reality based interaction. You can see that one staff member is actually nearby the cashier at this time. And what he's seeing through his uh, head mounted device will be mirrored on that screen. So you can follow in real time. Basically everything you are seeing in these two screens are real time, okay? So we are waiting a, a few more seconds to place the items we are going to manipulate. You can see that we use a set of items to try to reproduce something we can expect uh, from inside a, a real uh, convenience store. Okay, so the team is okay. So officially I will move from the renovation uh, time and setting time to the demonstration and presentation time right now. This is a message for the referee. So, as we start, this presentation is uh, meant to be in three phases. First, I would like to have some, demonstrate some staff operation, because even though this is a customer interaction task, we believe that staff is, very, is a very important part of the ecosystem of a convenience store. Next, we will move to customer guidance, what is more represent representative of what is actually the customer interaction. And finally, we would like to showcase something we call augmented service, something that we believe could be used uh, in the future as this challenge is the future convenience store challenge. So, on the slides, you can see a video Please of follow me. the practice we did before. And the first part of the demonstration, as I said before, is staff operation. In a convenience store, you cannot expect the people to be expert uh, in robotics. So we want to enable the staff to be able to very naturally interact with the robot. Please stop following me. So in this demonstration, one staff uh, from uh, the convenience I know store we're following you. is actually asking the robot to follow him. This so is it's a very, a very natural interaction. And I then, understood. I am adding these new data to my memory. And then that stuff is showing the robot Please new concepts. So the robot can learn about new concepts, such as an entrance, a newest product, a toilet, in real time, just by being demonstrated this concept by a staff person. So this video over me is not real time. That was during the practice. But you can see that the demonstration is ongoing in real time. So we are reproducing the me. same as you can see on the video. I am no more following you. And the staff is actually giving the microphone to the robot so you this can listen what is saying the robot as well. This is the newest product. I understood. I am adding these new data to my memory. So now the staff has showed a new product to the robot. He gave, uh, he put the nearby his head, the new uh, bottle, the new me. tea bottle, saying, okay, this is a new product. And the robot is gathering all this data, the vision data, but also the voice recognition data, also its internal representation, and the state of the 2D and 3D mapping. So now the staff is moving toward the toilet to teach that new concept, the concept of toilet, to the robot. Stop following me. I am no more following you. This is the toilet. I understood. I am adding these new data to my memory. So now the robot Please run the new concept. has been trained very intuitively, very naturally by a staff member. And now we are going actually to tell the robot to refresh its artificial intelligence with these new data. And the person, the staff at the cashier, will be able to visualize these results in real time using his head-mounted device. Results to my display interface. 
So you can, sh you can see on this TV in real time that the concept that has learned the robot are displayed. So unfortunately, you can see that the toilet se the seems to be very close to entrance. It's because the data set is very small. We don't have a lot of data. So currently, the robot is a bit confused about the entrance. But the newest product is uh, well understood by the robot. So with this, ki with this kind of very uh, intuitive uh, visualization, we hope that the staff can understand what's happening inside the artificial intelligence of the robot. And to perform that, we had to implement natural speech recognition, intuitive body, body control. OK. We may have to call a restart on that. Uh, I will continue with the presentation, though. We have intuitive body control. We have non-expert operation, just a staff asking to follow and show object. We have on-the-fly uh, concept learning, and we can display these results in uh, mixed reality. So the next phase will be about customer guidance, how to use these results to perform customer service. As the team asks for a restart, I will wait a little bit. And then we will uh, resume the operation from there. So we are asking the robot to move toward the entrance. And from there, the robot will start to serve the customer with the new concept he has learned just before. We have to make sure that we can resume correctly. That's why it's taking uh, a few more seconds. OK, it has restarted, and uh, it's now resuming its operation. Please run the new concept. So we will uh, uh, re redo one refresh of the uh, concept it has learned I just have before. Finished learning. I can now understand three concepts. I sent the results to my display interface. Please run the new concepts. So you can see that we also implemented some nice emoticon to understand when the I robot is thinking learning. and when the robot is performing I can now understand three duty. concepts. I sent the results to my display interface. Please go to the entrance. So next, the robot will be asked about the newest product it has learned just before. And it will try to uh, take it actually for the customer. You can Please see again, start serving the customers. these videos were taken during practice. I am starting and uh, we're going to perform it now uh, in real time in front of you. Could you show me the new product? Yes. Please follow me. So the robot has been asked about the new product. And now you can see that the staff is no more staff. It's no a client, a customer. is following the robot to the new product the robot has learned just before. Here is what you asked me, the newest product. Please wait a moment. I will try to take it for you. So now the robot is uh, starting a manipulation sequence, and uh, hopefully the robot will be able to deliver the item to the customer. So the robot is now, you can see in real time, doing object recognition and uh, also scanning the air area with 3D SLAM to try to understand where are the obstacles to avoid them and catch the bottle. Ah, unfortunately, you can see that the robot couldn't grab it, but it's okay. You will see that the robot uh, will be able to maybe recover from it. We'll see. This is why it is, it. it's a challenge, Please right? Help yourself. So the robot just said uh, to the customer, oh, I couldn't take it. Please take it yourself. I'm sorry. Toilet. 
Is there something else I can do for you? So no the Could you show me the toilet? Yes. Please follow me. Now the robot is performing another task we can accept from the customer, like just giving guidance and navigate through the shop. So the customer is asking, where is the toilet? And you can see that in real time, the robot is planning a way to the toilet and guiding the customer. During Ask that me, phase, the, the staff member in the back the can time. visualize what's happening inside the, the robot. Entrance. And if there is a problem, can quickly intervene, take over, and then give customer uh, human service if the robot is no more able to perform its duty. So the robot could uh, guide the customer to the toilet and is returning to the entrance to perform its last task today. Now, to perform this kind of maybe basic interaction, still we need a lot of implementation and research inside the robot. We need autonomous navigation, what we need obstacle detection, do? we need object recognition, object manipulation, I can show you the future. and mixed Would reality you like to see it? display. Please find the future convenience store app on your smartphone and tell me when you are ready. Now the customer has asked, what else can you do? I am ready with my smartphone. And the robot is telling, okay, please, Take your smartphone. Please look at me with your smartphone to see I can how show you something interesting. With virtual products and services. Would you like to join? No, you can see here we will see in real time that what we call augmented service is movies, something we believe can be implemented in the future uh, convenience store. Smartphone. A way to enable convenience stores that are physical based business, right? to more efficiently access digital like service digital and cloud. being able to serve people with augmented service like sure. this, where we display the uh, virtual service and product and where the robot can card. actually provide service Please that looks away. like human service to people that are holding a smartphone. In that case, the client is asking, well, I w I'm interested in that, that new digital point card. Could you load it into my smartphone? and the robot can interact actually with this uh, virtual shelf that contain display all this product to uh, give the client a new digital point card. So with this part, the last part of our demonstration, Direct augmented service, store. we believe that we can enable digital service deployment in store, in convenience store, and also have human-like digital service a lot of people can access already this service using computer or phones, but think about other people that are afraid of using a computer. If they go to the convenience store, they have the best of both, both worlds. They can access digital service and be served by a robot, but uh, like a human-like interaction. So we hope that people that cannot access this digital service will come to the convenience store to access them and be served by the robot. Now, also we could enable remote management people that are managing the store could be remotely updating this product. And also, again, we use augmented reality, and this is still a work in progress, a smartphone interface with the customer to interact with the augmented service, digital services. Now, finally, to conclude this presentation, I would like to answer uh, what is actually the, the question we've been asked by the committee. So this is our answers to the future convenience store challenge. And the first one is robotics for happiness. How can we bring happiness in the world of robotics? And we believe that we can bring that happiness through inclusivity and convenience. So meaning that we believe the future of convenience store is centered about, around a robot. And around a robot, there will be staff, non-expert people, but that can naturally interact with the robot. There will be customer that will be also be able to intuitively interact with the robot. But also there might be management people that will be able to remotely uh, provide digital service to the client. So we believe that the future of convenience stores lie in that slide with the robot in the middle of an ecosystem that is composed by customers, staff, and management. And finally, the other question was, okay, how can we reduce the energy? Well, our algorithm in uh, implementing the robot is not based on deep learning and heavy data training. We don't need big data center, big GPUs that drain a lot of energy. The robot is capable of performing training on the fly as it is walking around 
the store. In this demonstration, we use, uh, this is actually an unsupervised uh, learning system. In this demonstration though, the staff directly teach the system. But we can do it in an unsupervised way, so we don't need big uh, data training that drain a lot of energy. And next, we believe that with this solution, this robot between staff, customer and management, we can have better workflow. So if you think more global, maybe we don't have to train that much the staff that is in the convenience store to operate with the robot. And also maybe you can uh, provide more digital service and less physical product. So we believe that with both these both ideas, we can reduce the total energy consumption of a uh, convenience store. And well, with that, we conclude our presentation. So thank you all uh, for coming today. Thank you for the people live. Thank you to, to my team. Great work. Uh, and also I would like to wish uh, good luck for all the other teams. Thank you very much. さあ、ま、まあ、あの、ま、見えたと思いますから、あの、で、ま、すべてあの、リアルタイムで、ま、照明ですね、あの、ちょんとあの、チートじゃないね、リアルタイムで全部デモをやってて。はい。すごく緊張してた。良かったね。いや、でも